All right then, hello guys. So they're gonna do another Pico CTF challenge and the challenge we're gonna be doing today is gonna to be called SSTI1, which is, I made a cool website where you can announce whatever you want, try it out. I heard template is a cool and modular way to build apps. Check out my website here. And it says the hint is server-side template side injection. So we get this website right here and if we click enter, we see that we get features that we can mess around with. So one way to check for, I guess, SSTI or server-side template injection is simply by doing seven times seven and sometimes it doesn't print out so what you want to do is wrap it around quotes and that's how you usually test uh, SSTI just uh, I guess doing arithmetic uh, something is double quoted so might be double quoted like this and yeah 49 so how do we solve this challenge so one of the things that came up to me because I've been doing challenges like this in the past and I'm just gonna check real quickly to see if my yeah my voice is still recording so one way to uh, win these challenges is because because i checked the source code to see if there's any hints on what we had to do and no hints given so i'm assuming it's remote code execution so if i go right here on python i looked up pygel ssti and clicked on the very first article but then on the very first article it says server-side template injection with jinja 2. so it goes what is ssti it's a vulnerability that occurs when a server registers user input as template of some sort so this can be this can be abused to I guess run code or run uh, run code so we go right here and it says we get this one so I initially put the following payloads for remote code execution will try to apply as many filter bypass as I can so he put up multiple remote code execution attempts so for me I obviously try the first one so this one right here which is using the uh, Python built-in libraries to run the ID which is basically a command so if I run this, we see ID being run, which is similar to what you see in ID in a Linux, Linux command. So now that I know that this payload works, all we need to do is basically switch up, uh, take out the ID command and write our own commands. So in my case, I'm gonna wanna be able to type ls, like if I was in a terminal and see what's listed. And I see pycache, app, flag, and requirements. Now I see flag, so that's the thing I wanna be able to read out. So if I go back right here, switch this to ID and then cat flag we get the flag Pico CTFs server side template injection so I'll just copy this and then paste it inside here we should solve this challenge and we do so yeah that's about it hope you guys learned something new today I know I did and I'll see you guys in the next one peace